Welcome, boys and girls, to this 4 a.m. queue in Smite. Witness the legend, that's me, by the way, as I take on the morning elo, because sometimes insomnia leaves me no choice. Today, we're diving deep with Poseidon, and I'm testing out an attack speed build with Haste Fatalis. Will it make Poseidon a speed demon, or will I end up looking like a fish out of water? Let's find out. So, I'm up against Nuwa in mid. We're the only players in this lobby who are in master's rank. Not that it matters much, since this Nuwa is a joke. So, our first item is, yes, you guessed it, Telkin's Ring. This beauty will boost our basic attacks, which is exactly what you go for in a mage's basic attack build. I also snagged the starter item, which will give me some attack now, and even more damage later. But here's the real magic trick. Watch as my Poseidon transforms from a slowpoke into a rapid-firing powerhouse. If I start magically lifting weights mid-game, don't be surprised. I might even pull a rabbit out of my hat, or in this case, out of my trident. Who knows? Maybe next I'll be sawing new wire in half, metaphorically of course, or making her disappear entirely from mid-lane. Now that's a magic act worth watching. Once upon a time in the vast oceanic depths, Poseidon, the mighty god of the sea, ruled with an iron trident. He was known for his temper, often causing storms and earthquakes when he was displeased. But what many didn't know was that Poseidon had a secret passion for gaming. One fateful night, bored of his regular godly duties, Poseidon stumbled upon the mystical realm of Smite. Intrigued by the idea of battling other gods in a more controlled environment, he decided to join the fray. He equipped himself with the finest gear, Telkin's ring, naturally, to boost his already formidable power. Poseidon's first match was against none other than Nu Wa, the Lady of the Heavens. She was renowned for her wisdom and strategy, but Poseidon had something up his sleeve, or rather, so in his trident. As the match began, Poseidon channeled his oceanic fury summoning waves and whirlpools with such precision that even Nu Wa was caught off guard. Is that the best you can do, Nu Wa? Poseidon taunted, his voice booming like thunder. With a flick of his trident, he unleashed a tidal wave that swept across the battlefield, leaving Nu Wa scrambling for cover. But Poseidon wasn't done. He called upon the power of Haste Fatalis, and suddenly he was a blur of motion, striking with the speed of a thousand crashing waves. Nuwa, despite her best efforts, couldn't keep up. Poseidon's relentless attacks left her floundering. You should stick to the heavens, Nuwa. Poseidon laughed, his eyes gleaming with victory. The sea is my domain. And so, Poseidon triumphed, his legend growing even greater. From that day forward, the other gods spoke of his gaming prowess with awe. Poseidon, the god of the sea, and now, the undisputed champion of Smite's battlegrounds. The seas roared with his laughter, and even the tides seemed to move in rhythm with his victories. Enemies have returned to the base! What a nightmare! You better back down! Hope you enjoyed the story, guys. Now, it's time to get our first full item and really show them what Poseidon can do. Let's dive in and make some waves. Now our support, the sleepy giant Kumbakana, goes and ults new one. My Kraken, or shark in this case, is ready to pounce and take her down. Time to make a splash and show Nuwa who's boss. Thanks. Did you know that the Kraken is a legendary sea monster of enormous size and strength, said to dwell off the coasts of Norway and Greenland? This mythological creature has been part of maritime law for centuries, striking fear into the hearts of sailors and inspiring countless tales of its terrifying power. The Kraken legend originates from Scandinavian folklore, with the first written descriptions dating back to the 13th century in the Icelandic sagas. However, it became widely known in the 18th century, largely due to the writings of the Norwegian bishop and naturalist Erik Pontoppidan, 
In his work, The Natural History of Norway, 1752, Pontopidan described the kraken as a colossal creature, so large that it could be mistaken for an island. Often depicted as a giant squid or octopus, the kraken is said to have massive tentacles capable of reaching the top of a ship's main mast. According to legend, it would emerge from the depths, wrap its tentacles around a ship, and drag it down into the abyss, leaving no survivors. Its appearance was also said to cause whirlpools that could capsize ships and create massive waves. While the kraken is a creature of myth, some believe it may have been inspired by sightings of real giant squids, which can grow to be over 40 feet long. These elusive deep sea creatures were rarely seen by humans, and their enormous size and mysterious nature could easily give rise to tales of sea monsters. The kraken has had a lasting impact on popular culture, appearing in various forms in literature, film, and video games. One of the most famous literary references is found in Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, The Kraken, 1830, where he describes the creature lying in the depths of the ocean. The Kraken also features prominently in the Pirates of the Caribbean film series, where it serves as a monstrous servant of Davy Jones. In modern times, the Kraken continues to captivate imaginations as a symbol of the unknown dangers lurking beneath the ocean's surface. It embodies the human fascination with the sea and the mysteries it holds, reminding us of the awe and terror that the deep blue can inspire. Two heretics eliminated. Enough of the story, let's get back to the game. We've taken down the support, and Nuwa is dead as well. This game is going really smoothly, even though our carry Neath is feeding. But we don't care because we're dominating the other lanes, and the rest of the team is performing well. This game is pretty much in the bag. Our Kraken, or giant squid, is doing great. Our second item is Bancroft's Talon, which will give me lifesteal and increase my attack power as my health drops. Bancroft's Talon is perfect for mages who need to stay in the fight longer and dish out more damage as they take hits. The lifesteal will help keep me alive, while the additional power scaling with lost health turns me into a powerhouse when things get tough. Nuwa is down, and you can see Bancroft's talent lifesteal in action, keeping me in the fight longer. But unfortunately, despite the lifesteal, we get taken down by the support. It's a tough break. But with our next respawn, we'll be back and stronger they than ever. Succumb to the will of the praetors. The New one is down again, and my third item was planned to be Staff of Murder. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to try Haste Fatalis on Poseidon this time. But don't worry. I'll make sure to cover that in another video. This one was all about the 4am special cues in Smite. Stay tuned for more exciting builds and gameplay. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Despite a few hiccups, it was a blast testing out Poseidon's attack speed build. Keep an eye out for the next video where I'll dive into Haste Fatalis on Poseidon. Until then, stay awesome and keep gaming.